It's 448 right now. Now to a CBS News Colorado investigation. A portion of Northwest Colorado that used to be home to hundreds of wild horses now has none. How those horses were removed has many taxpayers very upset. West Douglas is just below Rangeley on the western slope. This month, the Federal Bureau of Land Management rounded up all 122 remaining wild horses that live there, saying the area is not suitable for horses. But your investigator, Katie Weiss, is finding the area is somehow suitable for thousands of cattle to graze. And some critics feel the BLM is wasting hard earned tax dollars on an unworthy cause. They've literally just been removed from the wild. They've been, they're half an hour out of the wild and they're like, what the hell is going on? Scott Wilson has spent years traveling to Colorado's western slope to get stunning photos like these. In the middle of a roundup, the mayor piled into the barbed wire. She somersaulted over and then her two foals um, uh, piled on top of her. This month, he went back to see the latest helicopter roundup and removal of the 122 last remaining Mustangs in the West Douglas herd area. I think what we're seeing, Katie, is, is a blunt force approach to conservation, um, which is costing the taxpayers an absolute fortune. Last summer, horses in the East Douglas Peons Basin herd management area next door were rounded up too. A helicopter scares the horses, forcing them to run right into a trap, where they are then corralled into a trailer and taken to holding facilities. The helicopter and trapping work in West Douglas this September comes with a price tag of 187,000 tax dollars. The West Douglas horses will all be taken here to a Colorado prison in Canyon City. Public records show the BLM has a $4 million contract with the state to pay for the care and keeping of the horses there until they're adopted out. It is very, very rough. There is not a lot of forage. There is not very much water. Stephen Hall with the Colorado BLM says the West Douglas Roundup was necessary because that area isn't suitable for horses and was designated that way back in the 70s. The public lands out there cannot sustain horses very well. It's just not a good place to have horses. And it's important to remember that wild horses are in competition with wildlife. But we found thousands of privately owned livestock cattle are also allowed to graze on that same West Douglas land. That more than eight times as many cow animal units per month are allowed to graze on those lands than there were wild horse animal units per month before the roundups took place. If that land isn't suitable for horses, how is it suitable for cows? Wild horses are a domestic species that live in a wild state. So eventually they will absolutely eat themselves out of house and home on public lands via coexistence of a variety of uses of public land. That's the vision that we've been given. We also found the ranchers only pay the feds at most $15,500 a year for all those cows to graze in comparison to the more than $4.1 million spent in Colorado to round up and care for wild horses. Do you think that's really fair on the taxpayer? Well, whether or not you agree or you think the grazing is an appropriate use of public lands, that's not really a decision for me to make. The decision has been made by the American public that grazing is an appropriate use of public lands. So that's that's what we manage for. He also says horses will be eating the forage on the land all year round, while cows will only be allowed to graze during targeted times of the year. If we don't gather horses in an area like this, then we will see environmental consequence and environmental impacts. And there are better, safer alternatives to that. But horse advocates like Wilson feel these helicopter roundups still aren't necessary, that more birth control should be used instead to manage horse populations. We believe there's a really cheap, cost-effective solution here, which is introducing uh, fertility control to a far greater degree. Hall says fertility control will be used more prevalently now for other herds in Colorado. Trying to administer contraception to 100 to 200 horses, that's doable. The problem is you get to a point where the population has grown so much that contraception is not going to be very effective. A Colorado bill passed this year will require more cooperation between the BLM, the state, and advocates like Wilson to find solutions solutions to the wild horse debate on which everyone can agree. Wilson hopes this month's roundup in West Douglas will be the last in Colorado for quite a while. I have a whole lot of hope in what's possible here. I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. Well, last year, an outbreak at the Canyon City holding facility killed 146 Mustangs, and all of them were West Douglas horses. The BLM says all of the horses rounded up this year have been vaccinated right away before being sent to holding, something that wasn't done before.